Now, good afternoon to you guys, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much once more for watching this video. But kindly, please support me by subscribing to this channel, just in case you are currently watching this video and you haven't subscribed. And please don't forget to press that notification bell on this platform so that each and every time I upload a video here, YouTube will automatically send you the notification. And to those who have already subscribed and they are currently watching this, I also want to really appreciate you guys for your continued support and I just want to say here officially that I really, really don't take the support for granted. So feel very much welcome on this platform. Now let us go straight into our critical or into our political analysis for today without wasting much time. And I have finally come to a conclusion that the only challenge that the Azimio Laomoja Alliance leader, Right Honorable Raila Molodinga, has encountered throughout his political career, and it has really, really costed him a lot, is keeping political friends. And Raila Molodinga does not really know how to keep his political friends for long. If you compare Raila Odinga, for example, with President William Samuel Ruto, I've seen William Ruto on several occasions trying to follow up and trying to keep his closest allies because he really knows the importance of them. Like for example recently, the, all the politicians uh, who are contesting uh, in various political seats through the, ODM, the, through the UDA party and they lost the elections, William Samuel Ruto called them for a meeting just recently just to try and follow up on them, how they are proceeding with their political career. Because he knows very well that if at all he leaves them just like that, they can defect to Azimio Lomoja Alliance and they can put some weight to the opposition and it can really cost his next presidential uh, contest. So he knows very well how to keep his friends. But Raila Odinga does not really know how to do that. And yesterday, Raila Amolo Odinga allies, close allies, uh, Junet Mohamed, the Sunna East MP, uh, Opio Wandai, and also the ODM chairman, Edwin Sifuna, revealed or leaked their plan to officially host uh, the White Party leader, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, officially from the Azimio Laomoja Alliance. And this is what they said. Let me just read for you what they said. That we will not allow Stephen Kalonzo Musioka together with other leaders uh, to blackmail Raila Amolo Odinga. You cannot intimidate Raila Odinga to support you for your 2027 president presidency and try not to force him to shelve his presidency. So that is a clear message uh, from the ODM party leaders. Uh, the ODM uh, allies that they are planning to kick out, to officially kick out Kalonzo Musioka from the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. And the reasons being that, number one, they are accusing Kalonzo Musioka from trying, for trying to blackmail Raila Amolodinga because recently Kalonzo Musioka has not been in good terms with Raila Amolodinga because he has issued some threats or some very serious demands that Raila Odinga must meet one. He is demanding that Raila Odinga should officially retire from the politics of the Republic of Kenya and that he should hand over the leadership or should endorse somebody else from to take over the leadership of Azimio and also to endorse him, to endorse Kanunzo Musioka for his 2027 presidential bid because Kanunzo Musioka has supported Raila Odinga on several occasions or on several um, political contests, and he thinks that it is now the time for Raila Odinga to return back uh, the hand to support him. And secondly, they are accusing, and, and they have said it very clear that nobody can stop Raila Odinga from contesting in the 2027 presidential bid. And secondly, they are accusing Kalonzo Musioka for disrespecting Raila Molo Odinga recently, after he said that Raila Odinga will never be the president of the Republic of Kenya. You know, Kalonzo Musioka made it very clear about that, and he also said that Raila Odinga uh, has lost uh, the presidency severely 
and you cannot win the 2027 presidential bid. So it will be the best for Raila Odinga to endorse somebody else for the presidential bid. And Kanozo Musioka believes that he should be the best or he is the best person who should be endorsed for the 2027 presidency by Raila Odinga. And the last one, they are accusing Kanozo Musioka for associating himself with the Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Moses Masika Wetangula, secretly. You know, Kanozo and, and uh, Moses Wetangula have their own political history together for a long period of time and they have been friends for a very long period of time. But according to these ODM party leaders, uh, their reports, their recent reports shows that Kanozo Musioka has been associating himself very closely with Moses Wetangula and they, don't, they really don't know what is their political plan and that is why they want to host him officially from Azimio Lomoja Alliance. But the question here is, if Raila Odinga goes ahead and officially kicks out Kanonzo Musioka from the Azimio, will he be solving the problem that is facing that, that Azimio Lomoja Alliance is currently facing? Or he will be adding to himself more problems? I really want to disagree with Raila Odinga's moves and the ODM party leaders move to kick out Kanonzo Musioka. Because if Raila Odinga will kick out Kanonzo Musioka, the first effect or the first negative impact of that is that Raila Odinga will be seen as somebody who disrespects the Kamba region and he will automatically lose the Kamba support or the Kamba votes if at all he will contest for another time. Because remember that Kanonzo Musioka has been supporting Raila Odinga for, and he has been doing his part to support Raila Odinga and he actually delivers. Like recently, he delivered almost at least 3 million votes to Raila Odinga from the Ukambani region. So when, when the campus turns out in huge numbers to support Raila Odinga and they see their son Kalonzo Musioka being kick, kicked out just that way by the person they voted for, will they be happy? No, I don't think they will be happy. So that will be the first negative impact of Raila Odinga's move. And the second one, I think Kalonzo Musioka, I think Raila Odinga, with his respect, should just endorse Kalonzo Musioka. I personally agree with Kalonzo simply because even if Raila Odinga will contest for the 2027 presidential bid, he will not win the presidency in 2027. But at least if he supports Kalonzo Musioka this time round, even though I know personally that Kalonzo Musioka will not win the presidency, but at least he would have returned his support back to Kalonzo Musioka and he will go down in history or his legacy will be built. Just, you know, just like that, let him just support Kalonzo Musioka to create a good legacy as he retires in his political, uh, in, in this political uh, arena. So he just should uh, support Kalonzo Musioka even though he will not win. And the third one, Kalonzo Musioka, I personally think that he will join the Kenya Kwanza Alliance if he, was, he will be kicked out by Raila Mulodinga. And remember that President William Samuel Ruto is a very shrewd politician and he is really waiting for that support from Kalonzo Musioka. So let Raila Odinga, I will not support Raila Odinga to take Kalonzo Musioka for, for granted. Because if at all Kanuzo Musioka decide to defect from Azimio Lomoja Alliance, the Azimio will be completely paralyzed and Raila Odinga's presidential bid or his support will be really paralyzed. Not unless Raila Odinga has his own political view or his own political ambitions that he wants to deliver. Maybe he does not want to support Kanuzo Musioka and he just wants to go down together with Kanuzo Musioka in his presidential bid, you never know because politics is all about interest and betrayal. So unless otherwise, I think Kalonzo Musioka is on the right move on this one and I really, really support Kalonzo Musioka. I don't support this Azimio Long or this ODM party leaders who are trying to create this division, this divisive politics in Azimio Long Moja Alliance. I don't really agree with them. I think Raila Odinga should stand 
and give his own political view on this one and make the right choice by supporting Kalonzo Musyoka this time round. He should never live in at all. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't really have much to say. Thank you so much for watching this video and for associating with me in this channel. Until next time, my name is Jason, but please don't forget to subscribe.